Love is not just a virtue but the form of all the virtues at the testing point, so said the renowned author C.S. Lewis. Indeed love and unity are the cornerstones of any thriving society, the threads that weave the tapestry of harmonious coexistence. Consider for instance, the story of a school where love and unity are the foundation of every interaction. Here students treat their peers as siblings, and their teachers as parents, embodying the ancient wisdom that to be taught by someone for a day is to regard them as a parent for life. This school thrives in an atmosphere of mutual respect and understanding, a testament to the power of love and unity. Contrast this with a school where these values are absent. Here bullying reigns supreme, casting a shadow of fear over the students. The lack of unity and love fosters an environment of hostility and division, stifling growth and development. In the realm of business, consider the success stories of companies that prioritize love for their customers and unity among their employees. These businesses, like the renowned Chinese brands Fat Donglai and Wahaha, have flourished because they treat their customers and employees as family. Their commitment to quality and integrity, refusing to add substandard additives to their products, has endeared them to the public, and in return, society has rewarded them with prosperity. Compare this with businesses where love and unity are absent. Such businesses are often marred by scandals, their reputation tainted by their disregard for their customers and employees. Their pursuit of profit over people eventually leads to their downfall, demonstrating the unsustainable nature of their approach. On a national scale, love and unity manifest as acceptance and respect for all, irrespective of their geographical origins. Consider the heartwarming tale of a small village in Mentugu, Beijing, where over 300 villagers opened their homes to thousands of travelers stranded due to inclement weather. Their act of kindness, treating these strangers as their own kin, symbolizes the warmth and unity that defines our nation. Contrast this with instances of regional discrimination, where divisions are drawn based on geographical origins. Such divisions breed resentment and disharmony, undermining the unity of our diverse nation. The story of the angelic Zi Yao serves as a poignant reminder of the power of love and unity. His message to us is not one of hate but love. Remembering him should not be confined to seeking punishment for his offenders, but awakening the love for our fellows in our hearts. So, as we navigate through life let's embrace love and unity in all our interactions. Let's treat our peers as our siblings, our teachers, as our parents. As business owners let's prioritize our customers and employees and as citizens let's respect and accept everyone, irrespective of their geographical origins, for it is only in love and unity that we can truly prosper. As we continue our journey through the realms of love and unity, we now turn our attention to the profound insights of Mr. Fan Lin. On March 27, 2024, Mr. Lin, a renowned philosopher and social commentator, shared his thoughts on the subject. He echoed Zi Yao's message emphasizing that love and unity should be the guiding principles in our daily lives. He urged us to transcend beyond our individual selves and recognize the interconnectedness of all beings. More than just a feeling, love is a responsibility, he said, and unity, it's not a mere concept but a reality we must strive to create. His words serve as a gentle reminder that we are not isolated entities but parts of a larger, interconnected whole. So as we move forward, let's carry Mr. Lin's message in our hearts and actively work towards fostering a society built on the foundations of love and unity.